Hello, everyone. Good evening. It's OG from OG Scale Models. As you guys know, I've been working on a uh, semi tractor. Uh, it's a Peterbilt 359. Uh, I've been building it up to look like the uh, truck from Maximum Overdrive. Um, I pretty much finished it up. I got to wipe it down and uh, do a little touch up on it. Other than that, it is finished. I'd like to go ahead and reveal it to you guys and see what you guys think. So here we go. Overall, guys, this truck went together pretty well. I thought I was going to have to do a lot of uh, chrome stripping and repainting. But the only thing I did was uh, where the tanks is two halves where you put them together. Uh, I had to clean them up and stuff. Well, I took some of the chrome off, so I didn't have a choice but strip them. So I painted them chrome at first with the uh, Krylon chrome I've been using and they didn't quite look right so i went ahead and said uh okay so i painted them uh flat black primer as the truck and they turned out pretty nice so i went ahead and installed them i'm going to do some touch-ups like i said i got a little bit of touch-up to do on the truck wipe it down and then i'll uh, put some future floor polish on it but uh, other than that, it's pretty well done. Uh, I'll go ahead and rotate it here a little bit and talk to you guys. The goblin on the front of the truck is uh, 3D printed. Uh, it was a file I purchased off of uh, one of the STL websites. And uh, you could scale it down. So I had my wife scale it down to 125th scale. And she printed it off. I do, since I bought the file, uh, there's nothing against me selling them or nothing like that. So uh, if you're interested in one of those masks, goblins for the front of your semi trucks or for anything, you know, uh, just a collector's piece or whatever, just let me know and uh, we'll work out a price and everything and go from there. Other than that, the semi went together pretty well, pretty perfect. Uh, there was a few fitment things and this and that. Uh, in order to put the goblin on the front of it, instead of scraping the chrome, I went ahead and drilled a hole in the back of it and I pinned it so I could pin it to the grill, glue it to the grill. That way, if I ever wanted to take it off, I could take it off and fill in the hole and then do the regular semi reel back on the truck. Uh, other than that, it turned out pretty nice. Sorry, sand and sticks getting in the way back there. The truck turned out really nice. Also, the uh, custom fenders back here is 3D printed. I uh, purchased the file for those. My, my Me and my wife did, and uh, she 3D printed those too. I do have these, uh, a couple sets of different ones made, and I do have them ready to be sold or whatever, whoever chooses to purchase them off of me. The piece back here for the uh, two rear lights is right back there on the rod there. It's drying. I, <laughs> to be honest with you, I almost forgot about it. <laughs> so, over overall, I'm glad that the, it turned out pretty nice. I'm happy with it. 
And like I said, uh, the front end does tilt. But it only goes so far now since I attached the uh, goblin. So, there it is. It is what it is. You know. But yeah, guys. There she is. Uh, as soon as I do a little bit of touch up on it and this and that. Uh, she'll be ready to go to her first model show and uh like i said i still gotta put the headlights in it and the fog lights and then the rear lights and i gotta do some touch up to the paint and things like that other than that i'm real happy with it guys and it turned out really nice I, at least i think it did um like I said, I will be putting a little bit of uh, future floor polish on this to give it a little bit of a gloss look. Um, it's not the same truck as what was in the movie. That's not what I was trying to get at. I wanted to build something that looked cool and everything, and I really enjoyed the movie, so I did my version of it basically and uh overall i think it turned out really nice and it did go together pretty well all the chrome pieces pretty much snapped together uh the exhaust pipes the grab bars on the side stuff like that pretty much popped in all the stuff on the roof popped in I did put some uh, glue on the mirrors and stuff because I have bad luck with mirrors. <laughs> and uh, I did put some glue on the two lights on the fenders. Um, I think those are turn signals. And uh, other than that, uh, like I said, a little bit of uh, touching up with the paint and everything. And... Uh, I'll set it up on the shelf until her first car show and uh, model car show and I'll take it and enter and see what we can do guys. Uh, I've been to a few of the car uh, model car shows and I haven't seen nothing like this. This is why I wanted to build this. I'm sure there's other guys out there that has built it, but I myself have been to Pennsylvania uh, uh, Ohio, uh, down around West Virginia, Kentucky. Uh, I've been to several shows and stuff and I get to see one. So that's why I wanted to build something different and stuff like that. Um, I think, uh, a lot of people will like it and whatnot. Especially if they see it and they've seen the movie. Uh, I was talking to my, my uh, wife and son and he t said, uh, Dad, you should build the, uh, the uh, trailer for it too. And I was like, eh. They remember the truck more by the goblin than they do the trailer you know at least i think they do but yeah there she is guys like i said a little bit more um like i said the headlights a little bit of uh transparent painting on the cab lights and the rear lights and then future floor polish and she is done i hope you guys enjoyed this build um sorry it took so long like i said i've been i'm a busy guy you know and this and that and uh i try my best to uh do things and whatnot um i don't know up here at the top of the exhaust uh exhaust i might uh 
I might uh, add some colored cotton, maybe, for like exhaust as it's going down the road. Uh, rolling coal. I think that'd be pretty cool. Adjust the camera here a little bit. Sorry, my camera things. It needs tightened up, and unfortunately, I don't have the tool handy, so there we go. Is it staying? Yes, it is staying. Okay, anyway, um, but yeah, other than that, I did detail a little bit of the interior, but I don't think that you could see it very well, but, uh, yeah, guys, there's my version of the uh, Goblin truck from the uh, Maximum Overdrive movie. I hope you guys enjoyed the build and everything. And uh, like I said, I'll try to get this on to uh, the channel and uh, my channel, YouTube channel, OG Scale Models. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't. Um, like I said, I'll do a little bit of touching up and everything. And she'll be ready for the model show. Alright everyone, stay blessed. Take care. And uh, I'll try to uh, pick out the next one. See what's on the chopping block next, you know. Uh, trying to build or whatever. Uh, enjoyed building this semi. It gave me a break from the uh, from building cars and uh, motorcycles. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. It turned out pretty nice, and uh, overall, I think uh, uh, it turned out really good. So. Uh, I'm going to get off here and let everybody get to bed. It's about 3.15 in the morning here in Ohio. So <laughs> I'll try to get my wife to put this on in the morning when she gets up. And uh, uh, let you guys reveal it. I'll reveal it and let everybody see it and go from there. Hope everyone has a blessed day and take care and stay blessed. On to the next.